thing is, is that it wasn't, it was falling apart and this and this were the same value. So I put a straight line there and made all that darker than this. And that changed everything in a way that I'm not quite sure what the hell I'm doing. Mm -hmm. And I think that's right. I think we'll maybe darken this up. Mm -hmm. So it looks like it was on purpose. Mm -hmm. You mean it wasn't on purpose? Well, it was, but it was a different purpose than <laughs> what comes to mind now. Mm -hmm. And when it gets to this point, you really should stop working on it because it's overworked. But just past overworked is where I'm at. And uh, what are you calling it? Breath of uh, fresh air. Fresh air. This is um, a drawing that I started. Oh, three or four years ago up at uh, the Heinz's. This is, this is my room at the Heinz's. Oh, nice. And, uh, and it's always cold. Mm. And yet it's a cozy little room. So this window is always open. And like all of the Adirondacks comes in through it. And it's incredibly pleasant. It's a very comfortable bed, and it's a nice place to go. And so I'm just talking about you know, how it could be dark and mean. It isn't, because there's really a lot of fresh air there. And that's as far as I've gotten. But I get a huge kick out of doing this. Mm-hmm. That's complicated and yet it's so simple yeah I'd like to keep it straightforward and let the confusion set in <laughs> so <laughs> like you but <laughs> life is very simple except it isn't <laughs> and the vision thing, that is how to see, mm -hmm. really is involved with these drawings because I can sort of see it, but I have to concentrate really, 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 really hard. And of course, I don't have any idea what all these goofy, swooby things are that happen. All I know is that they always have, mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm. uh, and they're getting more uh, pronounced, more pragmatic in the meaning of the drawing. See, that's blurring off and I need to just stop. I like the way you say you need to just stop as you keep going. Yeah, well, stop has had a lot of implications. That's a lot of what implications? Im implications, yeah. <laughs> what do you really mean? Uh -huh. <laughs> bend it another way. I can see that seems so just sort of vanish. Yeah, it's as, as though I had any control over stopping and starting. It's, it's a silly notion. The hard part is getting to a drawing that hasn't been done before, so you're not just copying somebody else's idea. And I think I'm definitely there with these. I mean, nobody would mess with this kind of awful stuff. <laughs> How would you be copying a drawing, though? Well, I live in deadly fear of having somebody say it looks like Whatever. Whatever, yeah. Because I don't want it to look like whatever. I want it to look like this. I mean, you did it. You said Monet. Yeah, the what, haystack, right. Um, what was it that was like Monet? The haystack. The haystack oh, oh, in this, the bed. The yeah, haystack, and it's yeah. the color and the, um, the mark, you know? It's really loose. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it's got the light on it, like you know, he did all those. Yeah, that's not, that doesn't that didn't bother me. I mean, I kind of thought I didn't quite get it, but I see what you're saying now. And I think it's probably true. There is no such thing as non-referential right. drawing. How could there be? Right. Yeah. I mean, it's all been done a little differently in the past. And what you want is pick out what what helps you. And uh, you can't get enough of that finding out what it was they did. I mean, every now and then, like twice a day, <laughs> you know, you find a picture uh, a, a reproduction of somebody's that you thought you knew, and it's either a different one or it's n news or something, and it's always surprising. That's why the Burger Book is good, is because it he, he's surprising. The it's Burger odd. Book is good. Yep, I, I read a bunch of that last night. Did you? It's it's the oddest thing. That's probably got the best article on Rembrandt I've ever read. I just loved it. Oh, I'll read that yeah, one. Yeah, read that one. Ooh, very rich. He, he comes to painting with a huge vocabulary that is from someplace else. I don't know, you know, whether it's the pol politics of it or what, but... He's able. He he really speaks in his own language about things that everybody shares. That's a little better. But here's the lesson to take down from this now. Okay. It always can get a little darker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's depressing. <laughs> well, it's not meant to be. Okay. Could be a lot worse. See, I tend to get too dark. Yeah. Quickly. Yeah. Well, you know, because I use magic markers. <laughs> well, yeah, that that that'll do it. It's quite a difference in the implement. <laughs> and yet, I don't think of you as being dark. Okay. Then. I remember um, when we were in high school and you doing those, using your epitograph to make black pictures. Yeah, yeah. Those were pretty dark. That was when you were in high school. Yeah, that was when I was learning about dark. Yeah. You heard uh, the story about, I think it was Barry Ames. John brought Barry Ames home for lunch for some reason. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't expecting him and I was in the sunroom working on one of those drawings. And uh, I had a theory that if you cut every light space in half, mm -hmm. you know, it made it made everything grayer. And then just to extrapolate from there, it's, it's very interesting how mm -hmm. that works. And uh, I had no idea why I was concerned with that, but that was, it was a new way to make a mark without mucking up your ink with your paper. And uh, anyway, they came in, and Barry said they wa walked right by into the kitchen without saying anything. And Barry said, well, what's she doing? And he said, uh, she's making white paper black. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and he said, well, how does that make you feel? <laughs> and John said, better than when she's not. <laughs> <laughs> and I loved that because yeah. it, it really showed a lot, you know. What size is your pencil? Uh, 0.5 something. This, and that's central to this because you can, it's so small, you can get into those little light places. 
which are caused by canyons on the paper surface. And uh, that's an area that not a lot of people want to explore. I mean, there's rules against it. Mother would say, well, you have to leave some of the paper white because if you load it up with black or anything, it gets too dark. Hmm. Mother had a lot of rules. Oh, that's why the magic marker works like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. Well, you're still, you're still doing the same thing, just on a larger scale. Oh. And uh, I'm at a picky even part of my life, and finishing them off in this way pleases me. So that's why I do it. So you're coming back to a bunch of old drawings? Um, no, it's more general than that. I have always been a starter. I like starting things. Mm -hmm. I mean, every mm -hmm. drawing on my wall and that I've ever sold are all the beginnings of something. Mm -hmm. And they're full of that kind of energy. And uh, in grad, I, that was, that's been true always. And uh, I can remember Frank Laurie saying, well, do you ever finish anything? Mm -hmm. And my response, the response is immediately, you mean like kill it? <laughs> <laughs> and so that was the end of that argument. And uh, now he's gone and I'm trying to finish things. Mm. And I, I, I don't think I'm killing it. I think I'm just exploring something I haven't done before. Mm -hmm. And that's, which is the important thing. But Pat could never do this, although she was a better drawer than I am. I mean, she really s saw so quickly and really knew how to put it down. I mean, I, it, it's, it was a loss that she didn't do something with it. And uh, I think finally I got better than her, but boy, it was late in the game. But uh, she she said, uh, she I, when I asked her, you know, how come she never did anything with her art? And she said it's too easy. Hmm. And and she meant it. I mean, that was a, mm -hmm. it was, and I think it was. It was just uh, she didn't get the challenge. Probably was frightened by the challenge. Didn't want the challenge, whatever it was. So she raced cars. Crazy. I hear the uh, new sister's working out well. Uh, Matt saw a Facebook post where, um, with you Katie and. and hug? Yeah, did you see that? Yes, yes. It was really cute. I didn't know that had happened until that. She, she